Alrighty guys, Tanner with Accurate Home Service here again for another helpful tip for us homeowners out there. So another thing that is a part of our maintenance package that we do every time we come out is wash your outside condenser coil. Now I have gone ahead and just broke this one down. Uh, it's a lot easier to see the coil and then I can actually show you what I'm talking about. But as we can see, this condenser coil is really dirty, really impacted. Uh, we're not getting enough airflow through these coils to cool off the refrigerant while it's coming out of the top. And what we're doing is basically choking off the unit. The best way I like to describe it is try imagining running through a marathon, breathing through a straw with your finger at the end of it. All of us know we can't breathe that well. So one thing that we do, and one thing that homeowners can do, is come out here and wash off your condenser coil. One thing you want to start off by doing is right here on the wall next to your unit, you should find a little box like this. This is what we call your service disconnect box. It's a device that we have to basically cut off power without us going all the way out to the breakers. Now, if it's easier for you to do it at your panel breaker, do it at your panel breaker, whatever you feel comfortable with. This is a pool style disconnect. So it has a little plunger like this, it has a little on position and off position. When I go to turn it back on, I gotta have it the right way. And I gotta put some power into it just to, you know, get it nice and stuck right, basically. Uh, so once we have power killed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our trusty hose with our trusty nozzle. Uh, not a lot of pressure. You wanna not use a nozzle. Thumb pressure is always the best. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top and then we're gonna work ourselves way back down. All right, and we're gonna clean off all four sides of the coil. I'm gonna start here and kind of show you. Uh, and then that way we just go ahead and start going. So I'm not doing a lot of pressure right now. All I'm doing is I wanna break up as much of this dirt and debris that's been collecting from the unit operating. Once I get the top done, that water is gonna carry it down. And then I get to do the really fun part, which I get to turn it over. And then it's like unveiling a curtain. And we're just gonna work it all the way back down until we have this side completely clean. And go at your own pace. Don't go fast, take it slow. There's no race to this. You wanna make sure we get it nice and even clean. We don't leave any spots behind. I'm cheating a little bit because I can take mine apart, but hey, I went to school for something, right? And just like that, we have one of the four sides completed. And that's what our condensed coil should look like. Now,